quite the wake-up call. Yeah, you're telling me. Neat. Nico Fermi. Olympic hopeful in rowing. He was only 21 years old. Looks like a direct hit. You're right to the temple. Severe cranial damage, at least it was instant. Do we have the bullet? Unfortunately, it's a straight through and through. It likely went into the lake. It's hard to give you much more without a full autopsy. Only thing I can say is it's a hell of a shot. Someone knew what they were doing. Really wanted this kid dead. Wait, hold, hold still. The bullet only grazed you. You got very lucky. Hey, do me a favor. Next time you decide to follow your gut, let me know. Could have gotten yourself killed. <laughs> He's right. If it wasn't for Rex. Yeah, thanks, pal. Well, our man's in custody. His name's Jerry Auchincloss. He's a Gulf War vet. Yeah. His gun, 357 Magnum lever action rifle, is perfect for long range hits. We suspected the shooter was high on the hills in the north. So we assumed from that trajectory that the bullet ended up in the water, but if he was shooting from the south side and he was lower on the water line. The bullet should have ended up in the north shore. Rex was trying to tell me something earlier. Now I think I know what. Come on, pal. Show us where the bullet is. All right, partner. One more time. Track it. He's supposed to smell under the water. He'll find it. Shooting was only this morning. The bullet is here. Rex should still be able to pick up traces of gunpowder. This is our guy. You could have put a bullet in you, Charlie. After firing at least five times, I don't even think he knew what he was doing. Well, what does ballistics have to say? Well, they haven't tied the bullet to the gun yet, but they were able to extract some tissue from the bullet itself. It was a match to Nico. See? There you have it. The guy's got early onset Parkinson's. He saw his hands. He could barely hold a cup of coffee. And it was a 300-meter shot at a moving target. It is a bit fishy. It's more than fishy. He did this in a single shot, and then he starts talking about mud and rotten fruit. It was bone dry today. Oh, I think I know why. I pulled Mr. Auchincloss's medical records from the military, and turns out he was discharged from the Gulf War. Anyone want to guess why? You know, I'll take PTSD for 500. Bingo. Yeah, he was traumatized by a kill shot he took on January 21st, 1991. Let me guess, it was during a nerve gas attack? Two for two. Yeah, how'd you know that? Discharge from nerve gas mimics the smell of rotten fruit. So Jerry's been reliving his most vivid and horrible day. Well, he's still military. So? So military's trained for details. Thinks the coach stole his hat. Lead's still a lead, Charlie. He's partaking a hazing ritual, and a few hours later, a sniper takes him out? Yeah, it's hard not to think it's connected. I'll tell you what I see. A group of privileged kids taking out the runt of the litter. The one who doesn't belong. Stay with me for a second. Everyone on that boat comes from old money, except for Nico. For example, I looked into Damon's family. Turns out he's a fair child. They've given over $2 million to Heritage U. You don't think it's mob-related? Oh, I doubt the mob would follow Nico all the way to St. John's. What's more likely is they did it themselves. This is why they put him at Coxon. It's the spot furthest away from everyone else. So they hired a sniper to take him out. Feels reckless. And we have no evidence. Oh, maybe we do. Check it out. I got into the university's athletics data site so I can access the rowers' training logs. Turns out they altered the route that morning only. Their consistent routine is to train on the western route, but that was changed on the day of the shooting. So they could row past Jerry Auchincloss's house. Take out the poor kid and frame a guy who's been a thorn in their side for years. Two birds, one stone. <sighs> Whose call was it to change the route? Probably the coach. Well, I think it's time we rattle his cage. <sighs> All right, 38 minutes. He beat me. <laughs> he made the entire track? Yeah, all the way from the sniper position to the boathouse. What do we know about the coach's whereabouts this morning? Well, Adler's sister, Sabrina, placed him at the boathouse exactly 15 minutes before the shooting. Which is too short a window, so it, it couldn't have been the coach. Yeah, nor anybody in the boat. If we're right about a conspiracy between coach and rowers... It needs to be another player. 
Looks like we have our shooter. Uh, Rex was right about the gunpowder he sniffed out. Yeah, it was on Sabrina's shirt, and it's definitive. She hadn't even bothered to launder it. So Sabrina was the sixth member of the conspiracy. The boys corroborated Sabrina's alibi, and Sabrina corroborated the coaches. I guess this is over. <sighs> I know that look. What's going on? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but uh, this isn't the slam dunk you're looking for. Here, I got the autopsy results. Sabrina wasn't lying when she said she didn't kill Nico, because Nico was already dead. So Nico was already dead. It freaks me out to think about it. They took their morning row with a dead man and all of them knew it. Well, at least we know why he was put in the cox. So they went past all those witnesses on purpose, all so they would verify that Nico was alive. Explains the singing. To draw attention to themselves. And no one noticed that the fifth man didn't have a voice. The whole capsizing of the boat was just a trick, an act. A well, cover-up. Which means there's a whole other crime scene. Mm. And I think I have an idea where it is. to think such a promising rower like Nico is gone because of greed. Well, the world does tilt to the rich and privileged like Damon. Well, Damon's as much a victim as everyone else. He was devastated when he found out that his parents had bought his spot on the team when more deserving kids were denied. Sounds like a bunch of talk to me. It's more than talk. He's putting up his own money to help fund the next generation of rowers in honor of Nico. Uh, he invited us to the unveiling, actually, and Nico's mom I think he even reached out to Jerry. It's hard to make a regatta from jail. No, actually, Jerry's in a rehab center for veterans. He's back on his meds. He's doing quite well. Oh, it's nice to hear a happy ending for once. Hmm. We're so lucky no one else got hurt. Yeah, my bullet wound's healing nicely. Thanks for asking. OK. Got shot. It was a graze. What? Small graze. OK, OK. So this unveiling, what is it? of little consolation, Miss Fermi, but at least you know your son never lied to you. He never did fall back on gambling. Actually, it means a lot. Welcome, everyone. Thank you all for coming to the kickoff and the unveiling of a new skull for a very special program in honor of a very, very special rower. Still waiting to be found. 